All right, let's get back to that forecast. It looks like you're uh, maybe looking at our dry conditions as well, Sam. Yeah, and Bri, I'm hoping in that less than an hour we get a drought monitor update. Those come out at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So for Colorado, that is 6 o'clock our time, but it's not always exactly at 6 o'clock. So we'll kind of see what happens. I'm hoping maybe some more of that drought retreats to the west, but Colorado as a whole is still doing so much better than where we are to the uh, to the west. Our neighbors in southern um, Idaho and northern Nevada, not as bad, but California, Oregon, Washington, really hurting with smoke and really hurting with drought. Now that's causing all the fires out west. Here at home, speaking of smoke, cleaner air, some of that from the north, but also kind of coming out of the west and south or east and south will help get the smoke out of the way a little bit more. We knew that as the week went on, we should get less smoke and the modeling is kind of backing up that a bit more of that easterly wind at the surface and up above should give us some cleaner air today. Now we are forecasting storms and storms are another help for clearing smoke out because those particulates get trapped in the water and then they'll come on down with storms. We think that most of the storms today will be wet or east rather of El Paso and Pueblo County between 4 to 8 o'clock tonight. So between 4 to 6, several storms are out there hoping to give a good chunk of people rain in the plains. I don't think severe weather happens today, but strong storms could develop with big winds in particular and some lightning. But then by 8 to 9 o'clock, they really start to fall apart. Looking at what's happening right now, we're in the 60s, 64 in the Springs, 61 in Pueblo. Some of that cooler air is still out there in the valleys to our west and over the mountains. And when you look at what's going to happen over the next few days, if you want to get some errands done, really not a whole much wrong or a whole lot wrong with going the next few days. Even tomorrow, only some isolated storms in the afternoon. So a lot of your day looks pretty okay. High temperatures today, it'll be hot out there. I-25 and east end of the plains, but no triple digits today, kind of like we saw yesterday. Our extended forecast gets a little cooler for the next couple days. Friday will be a nice change. We'll have some 80s with cloud cover and some isolated storms possible. So it'd be nice to get some rain. We're going to save some more rain chances for the mountains over the weekend. But then Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, we might get some monsoonal moisture to push a few storms back to the interstate. Pueblo looks pretty dry for a while. Storm chances are going to be a lot more confined to the mountains or somebody close to the mountains. So Pueblo, with us being a little farther away, looks pretty dry until next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, days maybe one of our better chances for some rain in the plains we go to canyon city where we're also fairly dry over the weekend but monday and tuesday we have low chances of rain and then we go over to woodland park where we're going to keep you know rain chances almost every day after here i thought saturday looked pretty dry but then going into the weekend and especially then early next week it looks pretty good for some rain 